This video is about the biggest lessons learned from someone who hurt you. Stick around to the end as I shall reveal truly life-changing lessons you will learn after getting hurt by somebody. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month in the description down below. You've changed. You never used to talk like this. You're like a completely different person. Those statements were indeed said to me over the last few years by people closest. Well, I guess being hurt by those close to me to begin with, from friends and family, and factoring losing my dad, tragically, would do that to someone like myself. We all at one stage of our lives go through a mental transformation and evolution, just like a physical one. But also, I know people who I went to school with 17 years ago who've not changed one bit. They still act the same, talk the same, kind of look the same, just older. They've chosen not to evolve or grow. They've not changed. They are still the same people they were many years back. How sad, but I digress. Let's talk about pain and betrayal. There are of course many types of ways a person can hurt us in our lifetime. And of course there are different types of people who can hurt us too. Hatred, hurtfulness sadly does not discriminate. It can truly happen any time and in any way. I got the inspiration to create this video after an interesting set of events that happened over the course of 24 hours. On one of the days, I walked past a former best friend of mine, like he was a stranger. We refused to speak, we didn't make eye contact hardly, and just walked past each other. On the Sunday, I once again randomly walked past former family members who were like strangers to me now. We again refused to speak, barely made eye contact, and walked past each other awkwardly. I loved these people in the past. I assumed they loved me too. Now they're dead to me, and I'm pretty sure I'm dead to them too. It's sad, but they should have thought about that before they hurt me. As ironically, these people looked utterly miserable when I saw them. Here are, in my opinion, the biggest lessons learned from someone, in fact, anyone who has hurt you. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and support my channel by becoming an official member. The link for memberships is in the description down below. Don't take revenge aggressively. I know it's so tempting when someone's hurt you to want to confront them or get them back in some capacity. And I am not condoning violence, by the way. I'm alluding more to letting your frustration and pain out in an almighty clash or confrontation together. I'll never forget when I was utterly betrayed and hurt by a group of people very close and dear to me. I did love them with all my heart. Now I have nothing and feel nothing towards them. It's not important to admit what they did, but let me tell you, it was totally unacceptable. Furious, frustrated, angry and hurt at the time, I'll never forget storming out of my home and walking for miles in the pouring rain. I must have looked like a man possessed. I wanted to confront them. Literally, I got drenched. No coat, nothing. I was running off adrenaline. In my mind, I thought of everything I was going to say and do to them. I replayed it over and over with every step I took. When I finally got there, the heavens kept pouring down on me. By that stage, my anger subsided. And I looked like some buffoon drenched in the rain, staring at their house. What am I doing? I asked myself. I walked away. I grabbed a taxi and went home, where I dried off, made a hot tea, and collected my thoughts. I wanted to get them back for what they did, but had I confronted them under that circumstance, I don't know what I would have done. I was on edge. Aggressive revenge is where we fly off the handle, and it's never good. It will only end with regret, resentment, and humiliation and embarrassment. Whilst they never saw me, and I actually never confronted them, walking in the pouring rain was quite embarrassing looking back. Channel your pain into self-improvement, getting better, rather than any form of aggressive revenge onto those who hurt you. Your mental health is very important to me, which is why I love to tell you about my official sponsor, BetterHelp. 
and I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be very effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is therapy online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video and live chat. You get matched with a therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for and what you're needing help with. Now, if it's not a great fit, BetterHelp makes switching therapists easy. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through healthy diet and exercise. Online therapy can teach you valuable life coping skills and can support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and take that first step to turning your life around with better help. How cool would it be to read another person's mind and recognize how they felt, what they really thought of us, what they said about us? Well, unfortunately, maybe for good reason, we cannot do this. Therefore, we've got to rely on life, circumstance and experience to allow us to see if we are self-aware enough to recognize the true nature of a person. People can be like oranges. Whenever you squeeze an orange, juice comes out, right? Therefore, when you metaphorically squeeze a person, what comes out of them? Sometimes abuse, violence, negativity, pain and suffering. What is inside is their true nature, who they really are. And it's better to know this early on than later down the line. Trust me. Simon dated a woman for a few months. He always wanted to get married and settled down, as did she. But something was off about this woman. She was distant, cold and strange at times. Long story short, she had different intentions. She had the intention of settling down with Simon, as he was from a wealthy family. There was only so long she could keep up the charade that she actually loved him for who he was as a person. They did get married eventually, and unsurprisingly divorced a few years later by her own accord. Her true nature was to be selfish and get what she always wanted. She wanted Simon's money. And she succeeded. A person's nature could be hateful. It could be envious and jealous. It could be extremely toxic and backwards and weird. It could be negative. It could be all those things combined. And so much more. Ultimately, their true nature is the biggest lesson from hurting you. You know what they really think and feel about you, and maybe others too. There's no sugarcoating or twisting it any other way. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of my videos. In a post-lockdown world where we're all confined to our homes, etc., it's undeniable people have become more selfish and displayed their true colours more than ever before, and it's really sad. But if you genuinely think and assume you are the only one hurt by somebody close to you, well, you're not alone. Let me repeat that. You are not alone. 200,000 people have watched my video on the subject of how to stop caring about those who hurt you. That's 200,000 people who've been hurt. And it's most likely way more than that too. I also know of people personally who've had massive fallouts in their family, and close friendship circles. Siblings suing each other over money, cousins fighting, parents and their kids falling out. It's not a rarity anymore. People are falling out and being hurt and betrayed more than I can remember in my entire life. But why? Why is this happening? What is the root cause of this? I have some theories. There is an epidemic of narcissism and toxic behaviors spreading the world. Perhaps social media, Reality TV and influencers are to blame. People more selfish and entitled than ever before. People ruder and way more disrespectful. People sitting there with idiotic justifications for their bad behavior and trying to excuse the way that they hurt others and trying to give reasons that they think make sense. And once again, it's just sad. Please take solace and comfort in the fact that even though you are so hurt, You've been so betrayed, you're just not alone. Others are going through this every day, and some unfortunately may have it far worse than you too, the poor souls.
This is not a surprise. It's not a shock anymore. The more people you speak to, the more things you learn, you realize it's more common than you think. Even if you've got low confidence, no self-respect, understand that you've been hurt and whoever's hurt you, betrayed you, however it happened, whenever it happened, that it's most likely totally unacceptable, undeserving, out of line, and so on. I think back a lot at the people who hurt me, the ones who I went to walk in the pouring rain to confront. I'm still shocked to this day how they acted. My heart will always be broken. It was and will always be totally unacceptable how they acted. I said to myself, as I saw a former best friend and family members the other day in the space of 24 hours. A stark reminder of the past and how in my mind that past is dead. As I was both times with a new partner, I'm in a new relationship, living in new terms and a new life. And knowing that it was totally unacceptable how they acted, it's accepting that there's no going back. If I was to go back to the old days with those who hurt me, and I know that it's truly in their nature to hate, what's going to change? Nothing. What's going to improve? Nothing. What's going to heal the pain? Nothing. That is why knowing that they crossed the line they shouldn't have, that there's no going back. My life is so much better with such people out of my life, especially when I hear how they've hurt other people as well. But it's not my problem anymore. Remember it was unacceptable and they're done in my mind. That is a huge lesson indeed. That even if you think low of yourself, which hopefully you don't, it was and will always be unacceptable.